Hey guys welcome back to the movie summary. Beginning of the movie, we see Pete and Debbie as a married couple. They spend private time while showering. Pete tells Debbie that today I took Viagra. That's why I'm so energetic. Hearing this, Debbie feels uncomfortable. So she comes out. Debbie thinks that she is not attractive to Pete. That's why he took Viagra to get intimate. Then Pete tells her that it's not what you think. I like you very much. He says that as we age, our energy decreases. But Debbie thinks Pete's energy has decreased because of the fast food and sweet food eats. Today is Debbie's birthday. Now she will be 40 years old. Yet she tells everyone that she is young. Because she doesn't want to tell her age. Pete on the other hand is also around 40 years old. Apart from that, his birthday is coming this week. They both have two daughters. One of them is called Sadie, she is a teenager, and the other is called Charlotte. She is eight years old. As they get older, Pete and Debbie get into a fight even over the smallest things. Their preferences also change due to their age. Debbie likes the kind of music, now Pete doesn't like that kind of music at all. Debbie then goes to her shop. Both Desi and Jody work in it. Debbie learns that $12,000 is missing from her shop. Debbie asks Jody about this. Then Jody tells I think Desi did this work. But Debbie doesn't believe Jody's words. Because Desi works very well. On the other hand Pete also has a music store. There he sells old albums. But now Pete's business is not doing so well. So Pete calls old rock stars to promote his business. But the current generation does not have that much interest in old albums. So Pete's plan is a disaster. Due to being in business loss, he is unable to pay the EMI of his shop properly. That's when he gets an idea. He wants to sell his house. But Pete makes sure that Debbie doesn't know about all these things. Because he doesn't want to put her under tension. The next day they talk together that we should live our lives happily. So they set some rules. Both of them should do morning exercise. Pete should give up his sweet food. Debbie should stop smoking. Both of them should spend a lot of time with their children. Also Pete should stop sending his money to his father. Because Pete's father is asking more money from Pete. Then they both agree to follow these rules. That night, while checking the CCTV, Debbie tells Pete that $12,000 were stolen from her shop. This work can be done by Desi. But can't say for sure that Desi did it. Because Desi brings a lot of profit to the shop. Checking the CCTV reveals one thing to both of them. That is, Desi gets intimate with some of her customers in the shop itself. Seeing this, Debbie doesn't think there is any problem. The next day Pete goes to meet his father Larry. Larry has three children. Pete tells Larry that I can't send any more money. But Larry emotionally blackmails Pete. So the money has to be given to Larry. Pete hides this from Debbie. Because she will be angry with him if she comes to know about this. Debbie also goes to meet her biological father Oliver. Oliver left Debbie's mother years ago. He married another person. Many years later he met Debbie. A few days later Debbie tells her kids that we need to cut costs. For that they are removing the Wi-Fi in their house. Also the computer should not be used for more than 30 minutes. Hearing this Sadie gets very angry because she spends a lot of time on the computer. Pete and Debbie are very irritated due to problems in their personal and professional life. For that they go to a resort to spend their weekend. Because they get some break from their stress. At the resort Pete tells Debbie that he brought intoxicating cookies with him. They both eat those cookies. After that they both get drunk and enjoy a lot. Also they become intimate. After spending time in the resort, they both come back to their home. Their regular boring life starts again. One day Jody tells Debbie that Desi bought very expensive clothes. Car was also bought. It is said that the money for all these may have been stolen from the shop. Now Debbie also gets suspicious of Desi. Debbie smartly asks Desi about her clothes. But Desi says I made these clothes at home. Desi's balls are very big. Seeing this, Debbie thinks that Desi must have an operation to make her balls look bigger. But Desi says her size is natural. On the same day, Sadie brings her friend to her home. Also Sadie asks for permission to turn on Wi-Fi with Debbie. But Debbie says no. So Sadie gets very angry. There will be a fight. 
Debbie also gets angry and grabs both computer and mobile from Sadie. Knight Pete and Debbie check Sadie's mobile. Then they come to know that Sadie's classmate Joseph is making negative comments on their daughter's photos. After some time Pete gets a call from near his shop. It is known that this time the albums were sold very less. Now Pete's business runs at a loss. He also hides this matter from Debbie. Next day their CA tells Debbie that their financial condition is not good. Pete's business is not doing well and Pete is paying his father. Debbie then goes to the gynecologist for a checkup. Now she is pregnant. Debbie will be very shocked to hear this. Because she doesn't want to have children at this age. Now she takes care of her two children with great difficulty. Debbie doesn't know how to tell Pete this. Next day Pete and Debbie go to Sadie's school. Debbie then asks Pete if you want more than two kids. Then he says he doesn't want a third baby at all. Hearing this Debbie is unable to tell about her pregnancy. After a while Debbie meets a boy named Joseph. He is the one making negative comments about his daughter. Debbie threatens the boy. And a lot of cursing. Hearing this, Joseph starts crying right there. Debbie sees this and leaves. The same night, D.B. takes Desi to a bar. Because it is easy to ask about the theft in his shop. After that they both have a lot of fun at the bar. There a boy thinks Debbie is single and asks to be intimate with him. Then Debbie says I can't do that because I am married. After the party, Debbie asks Desi if she knows anything about the shoplifting. Then Desi says I can't talk about it. Debbie asks where are you getting so much money from? Then Desi I am a prostitute. I will take money and get intimate with someone. After that Debbie tells that she is pregnant. But this matter has not been told to Pete till now. Desi tells Debbie that when you are intimate with Pete, then you say about your pregnancy, he will be very happy. That night Debbie goes close to Pete. Pete doesn't care about her. Then Debbie gets very upset. She thinks that Pete has lost his love for her. Pete is very stressed because of his business. So they both have a fight. They also stop talking. Next day Pete goes to drop his kids at school. Then Joseph's mother Catherine meets Pete and says that you should keep your wife under control. Pete gets angry hearing this. He also scolds Catherine and Joseph. After that, Catherine complains to the principal. Debbie on the other hand asks Jody about the shoplifting. Jody then confesses that she stole the money because she was under the influence of drugs. Debbie hears this and pulls her out of the job. After that Debbie gets a message from the principal asking her to come to school. Then she goes to school. There Catherine complained to the principal that these two scolded me and my son. Debbie and Pete look very innocent in the principal's room. They say what they have not done yet. Hearing this, Catherine gets very frustrated and scolds the principal including Pete and Debbie. Seeing this, the principal thinks Debbie and Pete are innocent and sends them home. After few days Sadie comes to know that her parents are checking her mobile and messages. That is why they threaten Joseph. Then Sadie gets very angry with them. Next day is Pete's birthday party. Debbie and Pete think their parents are the cause of their conflict. Both of them think that if they are good with their parents, there will be no real fights. So they both decide to be positive tomorrow. Next day Pete's birthday party will be held. Many people come in that party. Pete's father Larry and Debbie's father Oliver also come. Everything will be fine. But while having lunch, the fight starts again. Larry tells Oliver that why haven't you come to see Debbie since seven years. And also says you are very rich so you can help them a little. Hearing this, Debbie gets angry and tells Larry that you are not asking money from your son. This is how Debbie and Pete get into a fight. After a while Pete cuts the cake. Debbie secretly smokes cigarettes. Seeing this, Sadie yells at Debbie. Hearing this, Debbie's friend mistakenly tells everyone that you should not smoke during pregnancy. Hearing this Pete gets very angry. Because Debbie hides about her pregnancy. And he angrily takes his bicycle and goes out. On the other hand, Debbie is also arguing with her father about why you left me a few years ago. If you had not left me, my life would have been much better. Then Oliver says I have money. But I am not happy at all. My son takes drugs my wife never talks to me. I don't have a great family. That's why I came to Pete's birthday party to spend some happy time with you. Debbie forgives Oliver after hearing all this. 
She asks to stay in her house for some time. Because she leaves to find Pete. She leaves with Larry to find Pete. On the other hand, Pete drives his bicycle at high speed in anger. Just then a man suddenly opens his car door. Pete goes straight and punches the car door. After that, Pete gets into a fight with the car owner. Then the owner of the car punches Pete and leaves. Just then both Debbie and Larry see Pete and join him at a hospital. In the waiting area, Larry and Debbie get rid of their feelings. Later, Debbie apologizes to Pete. Then Pete I have no problem with the third child and I am happy too. But you hide that from me. That's why I got angry. After that they sell their house and shift into a smaller house. Thus their financial condition will also improve a little. In this way, the feelings between them will be gone and they will be together in love. This is how this movie ends.